Hello guys and welcome back. My name is Serge and in today's video I want to speak to you guys about pre-mixing uh, into fuel the two cycle engine oil for your Mazda RX-8. So normally um, it is basically recommended that you use a full synthetic uh, two cycle engine oil but I don't see what the difference is and I went to Home Depot and I actually did not even see any full synthetic type of mixes. So I assume it actually costs a little bit more money. So I looked around, looked around and I've seen many different choices. Some of them ranging all the way to $14. They seem promising, but what I was really looking for is this type of bottle because this is actually going to make your job a whole lot easier to actually do your mixing with. Um, even if you decide to go with a different type of oil. Why is that? Because you see it's got markings. It's got one fluid ounce, it's got 2.6 and 3.2. Uh, they did that because it's actually easier to mix the stuff in for certain type of weed eaters and blowers and things like that. But Mazda RX-8 has a fuel tank of 15.8 um, gallons and basically it's 16 gallon tank. This here comes with uh, 16 fluid ounces and you're supposed to premix half an ounce per one gallon. That means you need eight fluid ounces to, you know, for each fuel up. That is if you use up the whole tank. So technically you could you know this bottle is good enough for two uh fuel ups at the pump but you're not going to be running on an empty tank so basically what we want to do is we want to actually come to the gas station fuel up see how many gallons let's see let's say i filled up like eight gallons then we need four ounces well we have 3.2 at the very top so we could basically uh, kind of like eyeball it at 3.2, maybe take it a little bit, you know, over the top and get our four ounces in there and fuel up. Of course, it's going to be easier if we fill up like six gallons, then you could just put like three ounces in there and then you're, you're done. Um, the cost of this is basically $8 plus taxes. So each, uh, fuel up, it's going to cost you, um, $4 for the whole complete tank but if you're just uh fueling up let's say like eight gallons then it means it's only gonna cost you like two dollars which is not bad but if you end up getting like those little cans uh i noticed they don't sell the four ounces anymore so all of them is 2.6 usually at a cost of three to four dollars so that's actually not that economical that's gonna cost you like a lot more money let's start my mazda rx8 and go to the gas station as you could see it starts up good. So now I'm going to actually drive to the gas station and my steering wheel, it's actually really hard to rotate. As you can see, my steering wheel icon is on. That's another common issue that these Mazda RX-8s are having. And mainly it's probably having to do uh, with your overfueling, uh, overfilling your radiator. So this is how it goes. You guys could probably time it see what it is but i think it's kind of slow uh to be honest it's not that i'm trying to do any street race or nothing it's just you know you get a mazda rx8 if it's not performing then also the fuel economy is bad and everything else and it takes a lot of joy out of driving this car if the performance is not there now i'm at the fuel station i want to show you uh where the gas button is i know that seems obvious to many of you guys but some of you guys might not know it so i want to go ahead and actually show it especially for a new Mazda rx8 only so let's go ahead and get some fuel i want to see how much fuel it's actually going to take because this is going to determine my miles per gallon and it's going to tell me how much premix i need to actually add so guys while i'm fueling up here's my mazda rx8 let me give you a quick little look-see all around. Uh, this is a 2004 version. It needs a wash badly. I haven't even washed it just yet. Everything is happening kind of quickly. 
and I have a lot of issues that I'm trying to resolve and I'm basically taking care of that stuff first. Um, it also needs, needs a lot of stuff, but I just actually upgraded the tires. These tires are brand new. Uh, they're actually waterfall brand, probably a good thing, but got those things at Walmart, only paid $250. Uh, that's with taxes included uh, for the whole set, which is not bad. Uh, also, while I'm on the topic of tires, uh, some of my wheels got like slight little road rash, which I want to shave and I need to respray the wheels. And I'm thinking about spraying them either um, kind of like a bronze color because you see how my interior is like kind of like a chocolate type of a, you know, brown. I think a bronze wheel accent would look really nice with that. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, but that's actually the color that I'm going to go with. And looks like my car just stopped fueling. So we basically got eight gallons. That means we need to put four ounces of premix. So we could do the tents too, but I already have a premix in there. So if you never had a premix in your car, then, you know, obviously you just got the full tank and you would need to premix uh, for 16 gallons, which means eight fluid ounces. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and premix as if I never premixed before. Because for regular type of driving, uh, it is ideal to basically uh, add um, half an ounce of two cycle engine oil uh, per gallon. But if you're gonna be like racing it or whatever, uh, you could actually add one ounce per gallon, which is gonna cost you more. So it doesn't hurt by adding more. So that's what we're gonna do. First, before we premix, uh, let me go ahead and actually do the miles per gallon. So we need to write this number down. So eight, eight point two eight. Last time I got a full tank, I actually hit this uh, trip right here and uh, knocked it down to all zeros. And now I have 129.9, so basically 130. So we're gonna need to take 130 and divide it by 8.300 basically. I'm not sure if you guys did the math, but wow, I'm like basically like a like little bit over 16 and a half miles per gallon. That's actually really good considering that before it was only 40 miles per gallon. So what has changed? Well, first of all, we did plug in uh, one uh, basically ignition uh, spark plug wire into the spark plug. I know I just said too many things. Spark plug wire basically onto the spark plug. That was unplugged. So there's better spark plug, uh, there's better spark now. So that is a good thing. Uh, also, I have premixed four ounces uh, last time and that has helped. So that's a good possibility. But anyways, let's get into the topic of actually premixing oil. So as you can see, it kind of standard comes without one uh, ounce. So basically what you gotta do is you gotta squeeze the can and get it to basically three fluid ounces type of level. Of course, it's gonna help by taking that cap off because right now it can't breathe the scan. So now it's a lot easier. So we're a little bit above uh, 3.2. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, whoa. I wanted to take a little bit more to the top because that's roughly so ounces. what I want to do now is go ahead and actually hang this uh, back. And now that I have my four ounces, I'm going to go ahead and actually pour them in. Okay. So we need to actually, well, this stuff is like really, really black. Let's see. It looks like some more is left. Well. <laughs> not looking where I'm filming but anyways we want to get some more of the stuff in there some stuff is lighter like I've seen some of that red stuff it looked like it would be a better idea to, to, to use that but it's a little bit more expensive and it does not have ethanol uh, saver type of thing So right now I have eight ounces of premix. Now we got a full tank. We have 129 miles that we drove last time. I'm gonna go ahead and actually knock this down 
measured and I'll let you guys know my fuel economy next time. But anyways guys, if you are a Mazda RX-8 owner, if you're Mazda RX-8 enthusiast, if you're a car enthusiast, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, that means we think a lot and I will share my knowledge with you guys and hopefully we could be as a community just sharing information in the comment section and helping each other out because what I'm all about is trying to spend as little as possible on the car uh, without the cost of the performance of the car or its reliability. So I want to test some of these things out that I'm testing right now. This this premix that is not even uh, premium and I'll let you know how that goes. You know, maybe it's going to be good, you know, uh, because it's got that ethanol saver type of thing. So hopefully that gets rid of some ethanol because here's what I noticed, guys. I was driving my wife's car, her Nissan Altima, which is already super economical, it's like 35 miles per gallon. And <clears throat> I bought some more expensive type of uh, gas, which was like not even premium, that did not have any ethanol at the cost of premium fuel, basically. And man, I've noticed it's gotten even better fuel economy. So I think that ethanol doesn't really help anything. Maybe it does in a Mazda, I don't know. Let me know, guys, in the comments below.